This is John. Guys, you hear something making a, a noise? It's uh, the, it's raining outside, and uh, it's nighttime here, and I sleep with the air conditioner on. It's hitting the air conditioner, and uh, I sleep with it on. I, in the, even in the dead of winter, guys, even if it's real cold outside, I sleep with the air conditioner on just about every night. Most every night, even in the real cold times of year. If it was minus 20 degrees or something, I might not sleep with it on, but... A lot of times I sleep with the cover off of me and just shorts on and maybe a t-shirt and it blowing right on me all night long. I, I like it cold when I sleep. I sleep a lot better when it's cold, cool, and cold. My wife a lot of times don't sleep with me. She, a lot of times she sleeps in a different room because she hates the air conditioner. Her, she'll have the heat on, and that makes me want to keep it on like 24/7 <laughs> cuz she gets cold with me in a different room with the air on even though it's in even just in, in the room I'm in. She's in a totally different room most of the time. Cause she don't like it, the cool weather, and I do. I love it, the cold on me at night time. And she'll turn the heat on in air, and then it makes me even not be as cool as I like to be, so then I have to sleep with it sometimes turned up on high or, uh, you know, or just more have it on more often most of the time because of that. But I can't stand to get hot when I sleep. I like it cold, guys. I don't know about you guys. But I just want to talk to you about the coronavirus and... Man, it's getting horrible. This this is getting horrible, guys. But put your faith in the Lord Jesus. If you ain't saved, please get saved by the Lord because the Lord Jesus is getting ready to come back. And he's getting ready to bust the sky open any moment. He's getting ready to come through that door. He's got his hand on the doorknob right now, getting ready to turn it, go walk through the door, I believe. Guys, if you ain't saved by the Lord, please come to Jesus and get saved. He's your only hope, guys. I'm telling you, you don't want to be left behind for the seven years of pure hell on earth what's coming. It's going to be, Look at what's kind of, what is already here right now. It's getting worse and worse and worse. They're lying to us about the numbers and about the deaths and about how bad it is. It's, uh, I want to show you how it's causing, like that coronavirus, causing sudden death syndrome. People are just falling over, uh, either going in convulsions and dying or they're, or they're passing out or going in unconscious or, or dying, like uh, from that sudden death syndrome. It's a bioweapon. It was created in a lab. It's got properties of HIV in it. I was going to show a video of a guy that uh, is an expert on bioweapons, and he told that this is a really horrible thing they've created. He said they, you know, like he said, they stole it from uh, Canada and then took it to a level four lab in China. They ain't supposed to have this stuff according to the Geneva Convention. And he said they know they're not, but, uh, and especially to get it out on people, that's really illegal. And but they, he said he believes that they mistakenly let it out. But I believe that uh, the Illuminati had 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 people. They had people high up and all over the place, and they could have sent somebody in there to get on with that place or whatever, and then had it had them get it let it let it out. But he said the the, the Chinese government, he don't believe they're in on letting it out. He said they believe they just they just got out because he said they tried to hide it for like a month and didn't tell nobody what was spreading around. And they didn't even tell nobody or nothing or didn't shut down the cities or nothing to control it or anything because they was hoping they could do something about it before it got so bad. But it got so bad they had to come out and, and do stuff about it and tell people because they knew how dangerous it was. And that guy said, it's a real, real dangerous. He said, you just don't know how dangerous it is. He said, it's a, he said they have done things with this, with that, everything that's got in it and stuff. From well, what he sees, it, it's just a, just a really dangerous, fast, super spreading uh, epidemic that just... It's so bad, and most of the doctors and nurses saying most people that gets it are dying from it. They're saying a lot of them are saying, them, I'll show you videos if I get a chance. But they're saying it's a lot worse than what people have been told. And I'll show you that in a minute. Back a while back, there was a hundred, they accidentally come out with the real numbers. I'll show you all that in a minute. I'll just show you that. China accidentally released the real numbers like a week ago or something. It was 150 some thousand that had it, and I mean, and or that died from it or something. But a nurse come out, when it first came out on January 1st, said there's 90,000 people had already had it. And then it went up to 150-some thousand that had it. And I don't know what it is now. It may be. But there, this ain't counting the true number, true number because most a lot of people are getting, can't even get seen. There's so many people at hospitals that can't even get seen or get diagnosed. And the nurses there said they're diagnosing people with, like, flu and stuff. So they, even though they know they got the coronavirus, so they, so they can downplay the numbers on it and stuff. So people won't know the true numbers. And a lot of them are sending them home and not even getting treatment so they can get diagnosed with it. So th so they can downplay the numbers so they ain't even seeing the, a lot of the people that's got send them home, letting them spread it and letting them die from it. But um, also we've seen where Israel today uh, done airstrikes on west of Damascus. They launched airstrikes west of Damascus. And uh, so 
So uh, Ezekiel 38 and 39 are coming, and World War III is coming soon, guys. The Lord Jesus Christ is getting ready to come, I mean, so soon, guys. Be right, be right uh, saved by Jesus and be right with us. Let's try to be right with the Lord Jesus so we can go with Jesus in the rapture because you don't want to be left behind for seven years per hell on earth. And then there's a good possibility you can end up, end up in hell for all eternity, and you don't want that. Pray for me that I'm found worthy to go with Jesus in the rapture, guys. And now, if you want me to pray for you, I'll be glad to. I've been praying for the ones that put it in the comments. Just put it in the comments, and I'll pray for you like I have been. The ones that have been putting it in the comments to pray for you. And I'll keep praying for you guys. You keep praying for me. Let's pray for each other. Please keep praying for me, guys. And I'll keep praying for you that put it in the comments. But uh, Trump was acquitted in the Senate, so there's no impeachment of Trump. But it's not over, I don't believe, because I believe they'll uh, take Trump out one way or another. Just keep in mind, it's all one big theater. It's all a big act. They they may have like somebody take Trump out permanently, but uh, or they would have you believe it's permanent. But they may do what they did to Jeffrey Epstein. You know the ch uh, the child sex trafficker. That's horrible, guys. What he done, take people to island kids and stuff and women and and uh, rape them and uh, do child sex trafficking of them and stuff. Put them in child sex trafficking. And, sex trafficking and stuff and uh that's horrible guys uh, i'd hate to be him standing in front of god on judgment day i tell you that if, uh, he could still repent of it and god would probably still forgive him you know god is a forgiving god if he'd repent from it and turn from it and repent he probably could still be forgiven unless he's so to so to the devil and that's how he got rich stuff i don't know about that but the lord jesus and his father god is a forgiving god but he's also a just god the bible says uh, you know he put his angels in everlasting chains reserved to the day of judgment for hell. Don't you, what, uh, so what do you think you do to, to people, you know, that, that try to be their own God, live worldly, and try to be their own God? You know, basically is what he's saying, what God was saying. And you don't want to try to be your own, you don't want to be your own God. You want to make the Jesus your Christ, your Lord, and uh, you want to serve Jesus and, Seek him with all your heart. My soul, the Bible says when you seek Jesus with all, your, all you are, basically, is when you find him, when you find Jesus. So we've got to seek him, and don't be a lukewarm Christian. Lukewarm Christian says Jesus will spew, or spew you or spit you out of his mouth. So lukewarm Christians go to hell, guys. You don't want to be a lukewarm Christian. So you want to be, uh, you don't want to be on the fence, neither. We need to be all out for Jesus. Don't be part way in the world, living worldly, and then part way for Christ. You gotta be all in for Christ. And you gotta love him with all you are. And get saved and seek him for everything you are, guys. And then be watching for him because it says he Jesus has uh, the Bible says the Lord has a crown of righteousness laid up for all those who are watching and, and yearning for his return. Basically all those that love his appearing, uh, the Lord's appearing and are watching for the Lord's return, he has a crown of righteousness laid up for us. The Bible says. But basically, they put, Ep, you know, Epstein was on an island. He would take women there and children there do horrible things. And the only way they'd get out of there was by a boat or a helicopter. And that woman said there was no way to get out of there besides those ways that went, went there. But they had him, a clone, they killed a clone of him, made it look like he committed suicide, and then probably put him on an island somewhere, and he's probably living out his days. He probably paid off the judge, what I heard, like millions of dollars, but he's like a billionaire, I reckon. You know, Trump's a probably a billionaire too i'm not sure if he's a millionaire or a billionaire but he's got all kinds of money too we know he didn't get rich and famous for nothing before he became president and then he got the worldly office of the most highest position in all of the world of the world of a worldly position as president so you know we know he he didn't get rich and famous and in the highest office in the worldly position of president of the united states probably the highest position as a worldly position as president of the united states and for no reason he probably i'm sure he probably works for satan too guys and they'll probably put him on an island somewhere and make it look like he was taken out. And so Obama can come in, probably, who's probably the Antichrist, up, I believe. But let me go ahead and start these videos. Guys, let's see. Hang in there. Let me find it. i got to get back just a little bit. I've got so many things I want to show you. And I don't know if I can have time to show you all of them this time. But let me show you this first about the storms that's coming across going across the Powerful united states storm stretching across 2,000 miles alerts from texas all the way up into the northeast tonight and a tornado watch in several states as we're on the air tonight in new orleans look at this a powerful gust of wind shadowing the revolving door of this office building and a suspected tornado downing trees and power lines in martinville mississippi 
and severe weather heading toward the southeast and then up the coast. ABC's Steve Osinsami from Atlanta tonight. There's a long night ahead for parts of the south. The strong storm pushing through is bringing tornado warnings. In Martinville, Mississippi, a possible tornado knocked down pine trees and power lines and blocked this highway. That is hail, big hail. These are pictures just now coming in from New Orleans. The hail and high winds are forcing them to take cover in the lobby of this building. A blast of wind broke through the revolving doors. Those same high winds brought down this scaffolding, crushed several parked cars. One person was hurt. This is the wet side of a 2,000-mile storm that's also dumping ice and snow to the north, making it dangerous to travel for millions on the highways. In the Tulsa area, they had trouble trying to keep on the roads. In Oklahoma City, people had to push cars. An absolute mess here on I-40 eastbound. Cars have been here for over an hour now. East of Chickasha, this tanker truck slid into a creek. The driver had to be hospitalized. In Missouri, this crash involving at least two semis and three cars shut down part of Interstate 70 west of Columbia. At least one person here was hurt, too. This storm is now headed our way here in Atlanta, where heavy rains are expected this evening. We're already under a flash flood warning, and there's the chance of a tornado. David? Atlanta in the bullseye as well. Steve, thank you. Oh, yeah, I think I was going to show you this too, guys. Rob Marciano, he's live in New York City tonight as this whole system stretches right up into the northeast. Rob? It's a big storm, David, impacting everyone in the eastern half of the country, and that tornado watch is only expanding a dangerous situation across parts of the southeast. Flood watch is up, winter weather alerts as well. This thing will time out over a 48-hour period with heavy rounds of rain with that severe across the southeast, the mid-Atlantic, up by 95, mostly rain there, up north of 990. It'll be mostly snow, ending sometime Friday, but then the winds get cranking Friday night. David, Rob Marciano. Okay, let me start that one. Hi, everyone. George oh, Tom sorry Tom. about that. Let me let's see what I got next, guys. Hang on, man. Let me get it to the right place. How to get to there? Hmm. All right, here we go. the past few days it has become painfully clear that there is no way for America to avoid this epidemic, an epidemic like what we're seeing in China right now. A bioweapon with plausible deniability that was perfectly deployed from the get-go and people had no idea before it was too late. It's like the movie Resident Evil out there. You've been prepared, ladies and gentlemen, and now you're in for it. We're all in for it. We're in for the tidal wave that's coming our way. And there's nothing anyone can do. The clock is ticking. Ladies and gentlemen, new footage, new numbers from the quarantine zone. Highly disturbing. We're also going to uh, link all of the videos that prove this sudden death syndrome, this drop dead syndrome. Ladies and gentlemen, a very disturbing aspect of this virus and of course this virus is going to burn through countries like a wildfire nobody is inoculated nobody has any type of cross resistance to this virus everyone will be affected sooner than you might think it's already beginning to rampage in the big cities like San Francisco and of course, the numbers haven't changed in the last three days so that they can keep propping up their stock market. And it's so strange to watch the television. Even the State of the Union address, it was like, you know, this virus isn't here. But uh, obviously, they're covering up the numbers to protect the stock market. They haven't given you any concrete updates because they know the worst is yet to come. They want people to enjoy the last few days of normalcy while you still can. And of course, we've gotten more confirmation about the crematoriums, the body bags, and the like. The video on the left, very disturbing. A woman just keeled over right there in the vegetable section. And it's just beyond imagination. I'm sure you want to hear what the numbers are. What do we have for you today, ladies and gentlemen? And it's worse than you can possibly 
imagine. Again, here's the video from the crematorium. Industrial up. You mean it started that again? I rebuke you, Satan, and all your works in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I rebuke you, Satan, and all your works in the name of my Lord and Savior. The Nazis Thank use you, Lord Zyklon Jesus. B. The Chinese are using Zyklon C. Thank you, Jesus, for fixing the video. For coronavirus, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the video guy. We'll get into that. We'll get into the drop dead virus, and we're going to get into the numbers as was released here. 154,000 confirmed cases. See that? 24,500 deaths were reported. This seems more in line with the videos and the body bags and the reports that we're getting. 25,000 dead right now, not 500. 150,000 cases and the worst part about this is that right now they're only counting the cases that are in their hospitals that have gone through their hospitals. They've sent so many people home, so many people off the grid that, you know, these numbers are still yet to give us a complete picture of what's happening on the ground. And of course, the death rate here is much higher than, you know, what they've been saying. And the number of deaths being reported, even at this 25,000 figure, which was released on the 1st, according to Taiwan News, this figure still lags at least seven days because it takes new cases seven days, 15 days uh, to die. So the numbers could be twice as high. There could be, you know, 50,000 people already condemned. And the entire, you know, city of the epicenter looks like a ghost town. Here's some. Okay, now let me get it to the next section, guys. Hang on a minute. Just a second. I can't see good. Oh, man. Operating. Again, the big numbers here that were accidentally released in China by a huge corporation. This is being reported by Taiwan News. You can look. See, this, these numbers was accidentally released. And 154,000 something had this at that time. And that was released on, let's see, what, January? Is that February the 1st? So that was February 1st, so it's even higher than that now. 154,000 something had it and 24,000 something died in China from it. The, that number was accidentally released back on February the 1st. Look at this for yourself. 154,000 confirmed cases, 24, 25,000 deaths. This was of uh, February 1st. And the death numbers are always lagging the, the case numbers by a week due to the incubation period and the time it actually, you know, takes for this to actually happen and just keep in mind all the people that they're not showing that get turned away from the hospital that's going from hospital to hospital to hospital seven or eight hospitals trying to get help and can't even get seen to even get diagnosed with the coronavirus they have all the symptoms and so many people are getting lesions on their lungs i've seen videos where people his whole family had lesions on their lungs and they had all the symptoms of coronavirus but they couldn't get treatment only a very few of them got treatment his grandma died because she couldn't get treatment and all of them have, uh, are having lesions on their lungs. I saw, I showed another video where they said that was a symptom of it because it's lesions on your lungs. It's a horrible epidemic disease, guys. It's a virus. It's not just a virus, it's a bioweapon. It's a horrible thing. It's, it causes so much death, according to the nurses. There are so many of the people, most of the people end up dying from it. It gets it according to some of these nurses. Ladies and gentlemen, so, one second. Oh, that ain't even counting also the number of people that nurse there and kind of said they're misdiagnosing people too with flu and stuff just so they can bring the numbers down and not even treating those people, just treating them like they got the flu, not treating them like they would have had the coronavirus, just so they can show uh, a lesser number of what than what it truly the number is. So it's probably twice as high as what he's showing, so, I would say. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live 
if you're just joining us. So I would say now there may be, who knows, 400,000 cases in, and even because, it, and the reason I say 400,000, it's over twice as much because it, that was the numbers on February 1st. So today's what, the 5th of February? So, and it may be 70,000 deaths in China now. You know, I'm going by the, the ones that I know how many to turn away. It may be a lot higher than that because they're turning so many people away, guys. So many at the hospitals and stuff and not diagnosing them right and everything else. So it may be 100,000 or have died from it in China. Who knows? But it's high. A lot There's higher than what they're numbers, 154,000 confirmed cases, 25,000 number, 25,000 casualties right now. And we're going to get into the, you know, the real disturbing video from yesterday. And you can see it for yourself. Watch this, guys. Watch that guy. This is the drop dead syndrome. Watch that guy. And people were thinking. Help him, boy. So people were thinking that maybe this guy's just having a seizure. That's part of the syndrome. For sure. I mean, he's, he's seizing up right there. It looks like some kind of shock. But this isn't the only video from the epidemic like this that we've seen. We've got a couple others to show you. But all of a sudden, I mean, this guy's just doing his job. He's feeling okay, and just like that, he's done. And it's not the only one. we got tons of videos. And I said, help him, Lord, but he may have died. According to him, he must have died. So, uh, But please, Jesus, uh, I didn't know if he died or not, or not at first, but Lord Jesus, please help. Please help all those people that are sick with the coronavirus. Help them get better, Lord Jesus, and be with everyone and help them not get that horrible uh, disease or virus or whatever you call it, pandemic, pestilence, as it's called in the Bible. Isn't that Luke 21, 11 or something like that that talks about the pestilences coming in these last days? I, I wish I'd have typed it in. Luke 21, 11, maybe, 21, 11. But it's a... It's like a, I looked up the word, uh, definition of pestilence, and it's a virus that causes, uh, can cause death. And, uh, you know, it just it matched this virus of the coronavirus down to a T. Of people uh, basically, you know, keeling over, and uh, that's the end of it. Here's a, another video that you've probably seen. Uh, this was widely publicized. And so here we've got two cases. And we're going to show you a third one just to kind of like make it clear. And watch this guy. Pay attention to this guy here. After he hits the ground, he starts convulsing. And you can kind of see it. Uh, I mean, it's not zoomed in. It's kind of grainy, but you can see it. And the thing is, is with most of these videos where you're seeing bodies on the ground, I mean, this is after, you know, this moment. And this is basically part of the syndrome. This is what they do. This is what this virus does, we should say. And that's something that's not being talked about on the television, and for good reason, because, I mean, if you, you know, if they were telling you this, that this is coming to your neighborhood, you know, people would freak out, right? So, you know, watching the TV right now is, is like being in another world, because, I mean, these people are just not, you know, with the program. And even the State of the Union, it was like, you know, it was all about the economy and nothing about the eugenics programs. And it's like, you know, what are you on? I mean, what channel are you on? You know, there's like this, you know, end of the world epidemic about to hit. And, and we're talking about like how wonderful the economy is. And it's like, OK, well, that's nice, you know, but everybody right now on CNBC and the like are saying like, you know, the economy is going to take a huge hit. And before they recover from this. Uh, you know, that's going to be something else, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now let me get to the last part in this one, then I'll go on to the next one. On uh, super virus. And it's not the only virus that we've been tracking. There's another virus in town. And we're not talking about the flu virus. We're talking about the DEV virus that is infecting people as well. And we're gonna get into that uh, coming up as well as uh, some of the other information that you need to know about. But the DEV 
virus uh, is no joke. Uh, find out more about that in our video archives. Be sure to check out our video archives and the like. Now, of course, the television is just basically showing you, you know, nice empty beds and new hospitals and the like. They're not showing you what's really going on. This is what happens when you get the Wuhan super virus. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. You see that? That's sudden death syndrome. That's horrible. And at the height of the epidemic, you know, for 10 days, airplanes were coming in, you know, every day from that city. And they were going to major cities like San Francisco, otherwise known as Sodom and Gomorrah. And right now it looks like Sodom and Gomorrah is going to burn. Ladies and gentlemen, let our people go. Chris and they're building FEMA top, FEMA camp top hospitals in China. And uh, I recommend not taking these vaccines they got up for. That's how Bill Gates said they plan on taking the population down 10 to 15 percent is by that and abortions by uh, vaccines. And they just come out with one for this as soon as it come out. They've had this thing planned that shows the Illuminati and them uh, Antichrist B system, New World Order had this planned out and had the so-called uh, vaccine planned out for it. And it's to take it's to do things to you that ain't good. Maybe even to help to change your DNA for the mark of the beast. I've heard it does that also, if you take the mark of the beast with it. But it's to it's to cut down on the population. And also, I would stay away from these places that lock you down in these hospitals unless you need to go emergency. If you have to go to the hospital, go to the hospital. If you have to go somewhere for treatment, go for treatment. But uh, pray about it and ask the Lord before you do anything. I'll show you that if I get a chance. I might do it on the next video. I had so many stuff planned for this video, but don't look like I'm going to get to show it all. Because I run out of memory. I ain't got enough memory. But uh, it says stuck in central China on coronavirus lockdown. And then this guy here, a street cleaner working in a virtually deserted shopping precinct during the coronavirus lockdown of Wuhan. Uh, something Hubei province, China, February 3rd, 2020. Uh Cheyenne, China, before Cheyenne, a city of in Hubei province, went into quarantine, the sum of 31, about $4, could buy two cabbages, enough spring onions for two soups, a large white radish, two lettuces, a potato, and 10 eggs, not any more. Wanting to record the hike prices, I took two photos of, of price cards in my local district's largest supermarket. Immediately, a shop assistant approached, approached saying, you can't do that, she said. Please delete them. Even after I agreed, she stood peering over my shoulder to see if to see my phone to make sure that the images were gone. You could report her. You could report her. A local resident told me later. Nutrition or, or I'm sorry, national national orders have forbidden merchants to raise their prices. Yeah, and then probably like if you did something like it here and you reported them. Then you wouldn't be allowed to go back to the store anymore. And there's already very few places over there that have any goods to buy now. So if you got banned from the store, they'd probably uh, file one of those things with the police where you can't go to that store anymore. It's hard enough to get food over there. Now you have to go real early in the morning and hope they have something. And if the people are fighting over it to get it. Uh, Cheyenne may be in the same province as Wuhan, the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak that has so far seen more than 20,000 cases reported in China, but it's a seven hour drive. This is, or this is earlier that just come out. That's why it says that. So this wasn't put out today. It's put out a while back. The epicenter of coronavirus outbreak that has so far seen more than 20,000 cases reported in China, but it's a seven hour drive away if there's no traffic. I had planned to spend the Lunar New Year holiday there in Cheyenne with my roommate, not Ning Yang, Ning, 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 and her family on the day I took the train from Beijing where I have lived for the last four years, the coronavirus seemed largely confined to Wuhan. Cheyenne had reported no cases over our first meal together in Cheyenne. I learned that the local government had prepared an order to quarantine the city. There were coronavirus cases already, just not made public. I looked, I booked a flight back to Beijing straight away, but China United Airlines canceled it a few hours later. I booked a sleeper train leaving the next day that would cross the provincial border before the quarantine started at 1 a.m. as it was I feared that I could find myself quarantined in a hospital for two weeks either in Beijing or any or at any of the stops along the way in Hainan province Henan province I could find myself stuck in an unfamiliar city with potentially fewer hospital resources than I had here 
at least at least in Cheyenne, I knew that Nain's aunt or Nain's aunt and uncle were both doctors. When I spoke to my parents in London, where I'm from, they agreed it was best to stay. I got I got a refund on my train ticket at one and and the one a.m. deadline when it went by. I ain't gonna read all that, but you get a. I mean, you understand the most part of what he's saying. I ain't gonna read the rest of it because I got so much other stuff to show you. Uh, Zhang expands lockdown to Hangzhou and Taizhou. The changes will affect at least 16 million people, more people, 16 million more people. Uh, following the lockdown of Wanzhou on China's east coast, uh, Zhang, uh, Zizang province has now uh, placed severe restrictions on the movement of people in Hangzhou, uh, Taizhou, and parts of uh I hate these Chinese words, you guys. I'm a country boy from the hills of uh, <laughs> southwest Virginia. These words are just killing me. They're, <laughs> I can't stand all these words. Ning, Ningbai. I'm not Chinese. Uh, the province hit hardest by the novel coronavirus. The province hit hardest by the novel coronavirus outside of Hebei, Zing, Zang reported B29 uh, confirmed cases. I'm sorry, 800, reported 800, not B-29. That's a, what am I thinking, B-29 bomber? Must be going back to my military days when I worked on jets. <laughs> Zazin reported 829 confirmed cases as of Tuesday evening, including 340 in Wanzhou, 132 in Hangzhou. All these words are so familiar in China, guys. 115 in Taizhou. Huh. Is there one of them in the zoo in China? And 102 in Nangbo. It's one of the Nangzhou. And uh, Hangzhou, the provincial capital, is home to 10 million people. And e-commerce, Behemoth, Alibaba, and Taizhou is home to another 6 million people. The Zhang is an economic powerhouse with a, a thriving private sector that boasts a GDP larger than that of Saudi Arabia. Uh, according to 10-point directives issued by municipal authorities, only one person from each household is allowed to step outside every two days to purchase necessities. You hear that, guys? Uh, only one person from each household is allowed to step outside every two days to purchase necessities. It's radical measures we're taking. It says residents are now required to present their identity cards and to have their temperature taken when entering neighborhoods, villages, or companies. Anyone who has been in Hebei in the last two weeks is required to report to the village or residence committee within the first hour of arrival in the city. All public places offering non-essential services are to remain shut and markets, uh, supermarkets and pharmacies uh, disinfected regularly, regularly. Not only that, they're they're flying drones around, spraying disinfectant stuff all over the place and telling people to get inside and put their mask on with these drones. That may be the reason they're flying these drones around here in America, getting ready, practicing for this here, because they, they knew it was coming here. Illuminati knew it was going to be released in America. And they're telling people to get inside and put their mask on. And some guy laughed about it. He said, and that drone said, the person behind the drone that was watching him on video, the drone told him to get inside and it ain't funny to not laugh about it, get inside and quit what he's doing, shoveling snow or put, getting snow up with that machinery had. Because uh, to get inside, it ain't a funny matter and, and it's serious to get inside now and put it, uh, and next time they see him out, he better have his mask on too. But, uh, and they also have all kinds of machines going around spraying the city with all kinds of this stuff uh, that's, that kills it, like smokey stuff. Uh, courier and food delivery personnel are no longer allowed to deliver straight to the door, as in Wanzhou, all gatherings, all gatherings, company dinners, and like and the like have now been banned. Let I me. Mean, I got so much stuff to show you. I ain't gonna have time. I had so much planned on this video. And then this one. Oh, this is about the, uh, hold on a minute. This is about the new, let me get it to the right place, guys. Sorry about that. The first patients have arrived at the hospital, China Panic Built, to treat the Wuhan coronavirus. Here's what it looks like inside. This one has got two hospitals. They each have one holds 1,000, one holds 1,500. 
but they're also building uh, tens of thousands or 10,000 beds at uh, the, another 11 places, maybe a lot more than that. They're packing them in like sardines. They look like FEMA camps. Them other ones, these places here look like FEMA camp type places too. But it's, uh, you'll see, uh, they build it in a panic stricken hurry. And here's what it looks like. You tell me these ain't like FEMA camps, but more permanent ones that they're building. Here's the outside of it. See these prison. Uh, see the uh, set, uh, the bars all over the windows. Can you see them like I can see them here on the video? I'm watching. I can see them really good. I don't know if you you guys can see them or not. See them? See them? Like bars? See right there, and then bars, and the bars down here, and that bars on that window. All the all the windows have bars. Now let me go on up and show you something else. Let me show you. Oh. See, there's the inside. I see the bars on the window. It's on the outside of the window, so you can't tell, but it's bars, bars. It's on the outside. You can tell. Then they put food through this thing so they don't have to go in your room, and so they don't have to have be exposed to your air. They just put it into you like a prison guard putting in food through the hole in the door, and then you open the door after they shut their door, and you get your food out or whatever they want to give you so they don't have to interact with you much. And here's the inside hallways of that place. Now tell me that ain't jail cells like uh, like I reported in one of my other videos. Nothing but jail cells with uh, some equipment. And it's going to be run by a bunch of military officials, military uh, soldiers. So so see how they're doing this like a military operation. And I want to show you a video later, probably not this time, that where they, they said that it's run by military so you won't be able to to do anything, get anything out. And if you do anything that uh, gets word out or something from there, they can hold you, take you to military court and try you as a military court. And it's very serious. And you have to follow the rules and stuff. And it's like a FEMA camp, guys, but a permanent one. Let me show you this. Remember the Karachi? Dude, I've seen scary videos, man. I've seen one on this guy's channel. It's, hang on, what is it? It's Stranger Than Fiction News. He's been here. He's been on YouTube for a while. It says breaking. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Virus can kill millions in America. This is not the right place. Let me back up a little bit. I ain't going to time to show you all this. What's going on, you guys? Remember a couple videos back, I put out that video about the, the fog and the mist See, and the Wuhan. Fear is a thick death smog over Wuhan confirms China is burning coronavirus bodies. They're burning so many, they said to run them 24-7. Every one of them that can burn bodies or burn bodies, they're making them take them to the nearest place. They're forcing them to take everybody that's suspected even possibly have a coronavirus, take them to the nearest place and burn them immediately after they pass away and there's so much smog there i mean the city is so has black smoke and that smog like all over the city and i ain't even gonna get into all that i just want to show you that too I ain't gonna have time i just have to do part two part three videos on this guys i love you guys i'll see you on the next video or in the lord in the air with the lord and savior jesus christ praise the lord jesus should the lord tarry i'll see you on the next video guys i have to do part two part three and all that i had so much planned to show you this time